Alright, what's good ladies and gentlemen? This is the Listen Doctor Radio. What's good? Today is Wednesday, bringing you guys a brand new story. Um, when you go to a DMV or SSOS building, where do you usually want to go there for? To handle business, right? To get your ID, to get your social security card. This is what the OCS building is in Detroit. It's a building so you can go get your ID, your social security card, your licenses and all that stuff. But on a Tuesday afternoon, what happened was seven people were at a SOS fight. And you went there to go handle business, but not the business that they're supposed to be handling. In this video that I want to show you is very, very crucial and very, very fucked up. I need you guys to pay attention to it. Because just maybe this will help. My words when I say it might help the next young woman who goes through this. And this is being brought to you guys by Fox 2 News. Pay attention to it. And I'll be right back. Y'all give me a minute, it's uh, uploading, so I'm going to talk to you guys for a minute while it's uploading, and uh, just give you guys a backdrop of what happened. What happened was, a group of females were at a SOS building, and the SOS building is basically like the place that you go get your social security and all that stuff from, and uh, a fight broke out, and in the middle of the fight, a lot of stuff happened, and I want to get you guys an input on it, so here we go. On camera now there's so much for this no recording sign about a good minute of this fight was caught on camera now police are investigating what happened a big fight at a secretary of state branch caught on camera the melee broke out Monday at the branch on seven mile near Evergreen in Detroit police say the suspects were long gone by the time they arrived Secretary of State customers say they've never seen anything like this before. Honestly, it's kind of shocking looking at it. You know, seeing something like this going on in the Secretary of State is kind of unbelievable. It's sad to see our young women acting like this. Like, I don't know. That's crazy. And it just, it just really hurts me. You're supposed to be in there taking care of business. It's doing just that on social media. Quickly making the round, shared nearly 3,000 times. A spokesman for the Secretary of State declined to comment. GPD says it's getting to the bottom of the brawl. A woman on Facebook who claims to have been involved in the SOS skirmish says this was the result of a long-standing beef with another young woman who was bullying her. Usually you see this kind of stuff in the club or something like that, but this going on in the Secretary of State is kind of crazy. Now the woman who says she was involved in the dust-up later said in that comment it was wrong to have gotten into a fight here. Police have been in contact with some of the people involved in this brawl here and they're still working to get to the bottom of it the investigation is ongoing hi right, ladies and gentlemen you heard that thank you to my dude from sending that in to me you heard what happened you saw what happened let me give you guys how i feel about this the black people in this is not being honest they say this is shocking they never saw this happen before you're lying you see this happen all the time with black women black women beat each other up in the street Hair flying around, weave everywhere. This is what you guys do. This is the norm. You go to any restaurant, any fast food restaurant, in the black community, or any place in the community, the black community, you will see this. You will see trains of hair in the hood, weave all around the streets. You will see this. It's strange, they say, to see it at the DMV, quote unquote, it's strange. But to me, it's a normal day in the hood for black people because this is what you see this is what you get from black women black women beating up each other and they said it was a feud of a person that was being bullied and I guess her family and their family met up the same place and they wanted to fight but I give you the idea why would they fight at a building like this and, and the bigger thing is you see security guards in this let them go evidently they got away in this building, I know when you go to a DMV, they usually have cops there, not security guards. So maybe it was a cop, maybe it wasn't. 
Why did nobody get arrested? Now, if, if this were men, if this were men, they would have been arrested on sight. Black women in America, black men in America who don't act like this, this is why the world hates us as people. Because black women get out. They get out when this happens. If this was black men fighting in a public place where all these people were trying to get their IDs and social security cards, it would be a problem. But because they black women, we can't touch them. You saw the security guard trying to touch him. He couldn't even he couldn't even do what he was supposed to do. Because why? You'll see somebody say this, the comment said that black women always like to say it when they fighting and somebody's trying to stop them. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Don't hold her like that, security guard. She's pregnant. Um, she's pregnant, but she's fighting? That doesn't come into play though, right? Common sense. If she's pregnant, why the fuck is she fighting? But it's okay for y'all, the woman, to hit her on the stomach. But me trying to hold her to get her away from this other woman, it's a problem, right? That's a problem, right? That's why people hate bitches like you. And you can see the age range from look like 16 to up 21 or, or older. Where do you think they're getting this from? Mama. Where do you think this getting it from? TV. Love and hip hop. This is what you motherfuckers are putting out there for them to look at. We all understand TV is supposed to be entertainment. It's supposed to be fun. But when it stops being entertainment and stop being fun and it start being a reality, when, is, when does it stop? They have a brand new show on TV called The Game People Play with Lauren London in it. God bless her fiance soul that just passed. But if I'm her, I wouldn't put that TV show on air. You know why? I would ask him to take that TV show off air. Because in this movie, in this show, she's engaged to a guy who's a basketball player. And the guy is basically cheating on her. She's cheating on him. This is a bad life for her. But do people care about it? Do people even want to talk about that? No. They don't talk about that. This is really sad and really confusing that people will allow shit like this to happen. People recording it. Nobody trying to stop it, but they recorded it. But then you wonder why white people treat us like they treat us. You wonder why white people think you're animals. Because you're giving them that mentality that you are animals. You want people to treat you better? Do better. Thank you guys for listening. And I know the story that I'm bringing you guys from Detroit. Picture this out. This will be in the next story. A 18 year old kills her 14 year old baby daddy. Yes, you heard it right. An 18 year old kills her 14 baby 14 year old baby daddy. And it's the shocker, ladies and gentlemen. The reason she killed her baby daddy. He couldn't afford to buy her a pair of joints. Not, not her. The baby, a pair of Jordans, and him, and her, yeah, her and him, her and the baby, a pair of Jordans. Fourteen-year-old, eighteen-year-old. That's rape, right? Ain't that statutory rape? Because he's a minor, she's an adult, but she had the baby in a way. At eighteen, had a fourteen-year-old baby. They let her leave from the hospital with a 14 year old baby. His name is not legally on the fucking baby's birth certificate because he's a 14 year old child. But we're not talking about that. People are coming of her, coming to her aid and saying that she didn't know what she was doing. This 14 year old man is, young boy is gone. She gets to live her life. This is why the world hates us. 
14 year old 18 year old that's on the next story thank you guys for watching appreciate you i will get to that story sometimes tonight i already did half of it i just got to go ahead and do the rest uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Listen Off the Radio. You will be able to see this on the replay. Uh, we did it live. We did it live. So this is live. But you will be able to see the replay of that. Hopefully, I think it's going to cut off on you guys in between of me talking about the new story. So you will see this on the replay. Uh, on, the, on the replay. And you will see this on the live. Thank you guys for watching. This is Listen Off the Radio. Peace.